Hi. So what this is all about? This is all about a DC to DC converter just arrived from the oven. Ah, it's hot. Uh, okay, so I think it's from AliExpress. Yes, it's from AliExpress. What is special about this one? Uh, I've written. Uh, I always write on the PCB because I don't remember all the DC to DC what they are exactly, what the voltage rate, and it's very easy just to mark on the PCB. So this one, the input is 8 to 32 volts, and the output is 45 to almost 400 volts. And what you can see here, oh by the way, they done a jumper here, very strange talking about this jumper, but never mind. Um, it's 5 ampere rate. What I like about it is that they put a fuse here. This is a very important part. It looks like, yes, you can remove it. This is like a mini car fuse. So it's very convenient uh, to use it as a safety feature. And of course the potentiometer is uh, to uh, change the voltage uh, level between 45 and 400 or 390. And they claim that it is a 40 watt. 40 watt is, is nice, it's a good uh, uh, power. And there there is a fuse, what? Why did they put a jumper here? This is strange. Ah, I know why they, they put a jumper. Because it is written here, a fan. So maybe you can use your power for a fan in order to cool it if the heatsink is too high. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we have here uh, probably a, a power MOSFET or something like this. And uh, they claim that the efficiency is 88%, which is pretty, uh, pretty high. I would say there are some uh, with higher uh, with higher efficiency. The efficiency, by the way, is uh, by the loss and how you generate if you have a magnetic loss and if you have a, a on the MOSFET loss because of its internal resistance basically it's heat everything that heat it's a, a loss of power so uh, if you have a lot of heat so uh, the efficiency decreases if you have no heat and all the power is transferred out so the efficiency is good so uh, of course I will test it and uh, what I need it for. So sometimes you want to, to use application like I will show you now. This is a, a LED lamp, a ceiling LED lamp. And uh, basically all these lamps are working with a power converter like this. This power converter, if you will look at it, they say that the voltage out is between 32 to 64. This is a huge, huge range. This is twice the voltage. So how can it be? Because when you're working with lead, what is matter is not the voltage. The, what is uh, important is the current. So they claim that for this lead, the current is 300 milliamps plus minus 5%. So this is a current source, this is not a voltage source. And the current source is basically a, a, the output and the voltage will be as much as it can give out with the specific current. So this is why all uh, this a adapter, LED adapter, you will find always current out and not a voltage out and the voltage will be but with a very high range. I want to look how it looks like. 
Okay, we can turn it off. Basically, very, very simple circuit. This is why I am very afraid of this circuit. There is nothing to protect you. Although there is a very tiny resistor at the input that can uh, blow up if something uh, happens. Uh, we can see a rectifier bridge. So uh, it's, it's converting the AC to DC. And this is probably uh, the driver of uh, this coil. And after the coil we have an output with a current but how they uh, fix the current so probably uh, this MOSFET has a, a current limit something uh, that can limit the current out because I don't see any feedback from the output to the input but there is something here probably this is a capacitor or diode or I don't know what Okay, so what I want to do is first uh, to connect this uh, to the LED in order to measure the, the voltage that the LED really needs and then what I want to do is to use this DC to DC and to power this LED out. Why is this good? For example, if you want uh, to do an emergency light for your home and you want it to be on batteries and not on a, a very huge a, a converter that take batteries power out and convert it to 220 volts or 110 depends where you are from so uh, instead of using this very huge converter to, to power your house or like all the system you can do uh, a pretty simple thing like lighting the, the ceiling LED uh, with this circuit and using batteries you can use because the input here is from uh, a 8 volt so you can prepare a 12 volt battery and use it to, to power this LED without doing other things okay so first I will connect I will measure by the way this is a, a high voltage so I really don't recommend unless you are using a very good protection to do what I am going to do you have to be familiar with electricity and what can be caused and you have to be very very careful when using uh, the outlet power so uh, I advise maybe not to do it unless you are uh, no knowing exactly what you're doing using maybe gloves and protect yourself from the high voltage and the potential uh, electrified that uh, uh, you may get so be careful really be careful this is not a game okay so let's put and measure everything so everything is now connected I've connected the, the DVM to see the voltage hopefully nothing will explode and uh, what the aim is again is very careful it's now 220 input I want to measure the actual voltage by the way the, the LED of course will light because everything is connected so let's see okay so we can see uh, the voltage is 55 volts 55 volts and uh, okay this is so the voltage that we will need from our DC to DC adapter so uh, 57 sorry 57 volt not 55 57 so we know that uh, it is 57 volts and we'll write it and now we will do the same by the way uh, now we will be able to see if the seller that told me that this is 18 watts if he uh, if they are lying or they are not lying because now with my uh, DC to DC I can measure of course the exact power out if the calculation are correct so I can also do the 57 and multiply it with 
300 milliamps let's see what is uh, what we get so uh, 57 multiply with 300 milliamps this is uh, this is 17 watt so uh, they are not uh, let's say a big liars <laughs> okay so we will do the same with the DC to DC in a second okay so now I've connected the same LED lamp for this uh, DC to DC converter I will apply a uh, 12 volts to the input and adjust the voltage out and I will adjust the voltage out to uh, 57 volt this is what we we seen so 12 volts to amp okay you see 54 so I can get up to uh, 57 so I'm now adjusting the potentiometer and you can see now the brightness is much higher by the way the power consumption is now a 1.6 amps and it is written uh, 20 watts by the way it is going up why it is going up I don't like that it is going up so let's reduce a little let's say to 57 volts which is a good point so now we are at 19 watts but again it is going up looks like maybe it is getting hot and the efficiency is lower yes, I have to understand why no it is not getting hot so I have no idea why the power goes up but let's reduce again the voltage a little you can see it, it is dramatically changing uh, the light of the LED because this is the point where the current increased dramatically so 1.5 amps and this is how you can use it uh, so you can use these models and lamp these LEDs with a DC battery and this is pretty bright uh, light I have to say uh, good for emergency and things like that so that's all for now hope you enjoyed and learned something thank you and bye